Hello, it's Alonzo Von Threet, AVT Pro Advanced Visualization Technology Productions, and this is a second follow-up video to my request or challenge for tutorials about uh, prop interaction, interaction and destruction. So what I want to do is clarify uh, a little bit more why specifically I'm interested in and proxy, I think it's called guided simulations, or I mean guided destructions, or using a low proxy as like a point to form to uh, to guide the uh, fractured objects. And so, let me see if I can find this here. This is a clear example. So I use endorphin, which is discontinued, and so there won't be any new versions of this but i got it during a liquidation sale uh when they just before they sold the zynga and um here is a classic example so this simulation is designed with low proxies so this is half of this this is half of that and it's higher than this one and this one is a little lower and that's where he wants it well, that's where it is to break or fracture so i guess this region here between the two would be where you basically want or you could decide in in houdini but this is not broken this is not broke so the the object of it is is that this is a ragdoll intelligent ragdoll uh, uh, uh character uh artificial intelligence um neural networked just great technology um, that that was done by Torsten Real to uh, to create this. But I want to show you the simulation. There's a force object on it back here that is just going to knock him over, and he staggers across. And I'll show you what happens here. Boom! Wow! Look how blow. <laughs> so. And then they fall over and they react, you know. But the idea is, is that you can have the banister break into pieces and the struts to the banister break. You can also have the table break. And you can even have some of the chairs break. Okay? So, uh, so, but the thing about it, this is a one way, uh, obvious, and you, you can work it. But once you design design and decide how you want the simulation to uh and the props to interact and the character to interact with the props then you should be able to take that out these low proxies and use those as uh to guide the high res or fractured object and so i don't i'm not sure if you actually need to do the whole thing here and then the region here is the constraint. Uh, so I was asking for tutorials. I know I showed a very simple sample, but eventually this is the, he the direction I'm headed. And of course, it can already be done with uh, one way uh, destruction. But I like the idea of using a guided simulation because, for example, I can go here. And as you can see, when he hits the table, he hits the table, it breaks after he hits. But what if I wanted it longer? All I have to do is change the constraint length here. And so instead of here, it's going to break apart here. And so I'll just re-simulate it. And you will see that instead of there, it holds, he's on top of it, then it breaks. And so that kind of art direction and design is what makes Endorphin really great. It's really great to change it. I've seen some great things happening with Houdini 18. I'm just not there yet. Okay. I'd like the balance thing. It reminds me of Endorphin where the character tries to keep their balance. It's one of the uh, and euphoria it reminds me of. Endorphin does it. It does it but not that to that level. But anyway. So that's the idea. Just that like it's not only the character interacting or uh, creating force upon a prop and fracturing the prop but it is also the prop interacting with the character and delaying or giving it hang time resistance or obstruction to uh, the fall or the stunt 
So it, and then you can actually, like as you see here, this character, uh, this prop breaks apart right here, right? So what if I didn't want it to break apart? You know, I can just add a track here really quickly and I can add a constraint and let's just go up a little bit while it's still connected and I can select that leg and that part of the table and set that up to be locked together as you can see here it stays longer but only that part of the table stays and then it breaks apart after the constraint uh, after the constraint stops so so this is why I would like guided uh, or low proxy animated uh, objects to guide the, the, the fracture so this is the reason is that double solve one is affecting the other as much as the other is affecting it and there's also weights and balances and things like that that uh, forces and endorphin but so this is you know a stump program and it's a very great stump program somebody should buy it back from Zynga or natural bullshit whatever but um, put it back on the market and then integrate it with Maya and Houdini. But anyway, till then, uh, what I have is this um, is this uh, uh, this great featurette to create a simulation the way I want. So I can even have that table, that part of the leg, fall quicker, and then the table hold. I think. So let's try that. Boom, boom. The table is holding. And the leg really didn't fall apart there. But anyway, you get the point. Uh, there's a lot that can be done. I can do this here. Actually, what happened was uh, the constraint. Let me do that again. Instead of it just staying in the air like that, what I'll do is change the constraint type to join bodies I like what parent join bodies and then it'll be affected by gravity the two will be stuck together and you can see it's starting to come apart but it didn't but anyway so this time I'll just say but my point is is that uh, is that I would like uh, I noticed that there was going to be a seminar tomorrow and so I would like to um, uh, this is the way I would present my question <laughs> instead of typing it in as you can see it's still that leg still st stays stuck until the very end so um and if you notice it'll change the behavior of all of these so just the way if you change one is the whole thing changes like he stands up more and so so there you have it so this is important to me and uh, character interaction that's my main interest in in houdini um i'm an independent and an independent animator and so it's really great to have a program that is just a really fast way to get a lot of animation i have a couple of examples on my site already my youtube site and so you can see there's a lot of interaction and I, all of this animation is like done in a day, you know, or a few hours, you know, uh, as opposed to having to animate each individual one. And when you have to make a change, it's like, uh oh, see you next week, you know, but anyway, there you go. So this is my reason for asking. It's not just the guidance, but to have something that I know will affect the character as well so the the reason why i need guided uh guided simulation is the way i want it to affect the character like and i know you can affect the character uh but uh in houdini they have vellum and ragdolls and stuff but this seems to work for me so it would be a great uh workflow feature for me okay 
Um, I would say that would be it. I'm trying to keep it short.